Ernest, you're a good man, aren't you? Yes, sir, I suppose so. You suppose so, or you aren't you? Personally speaking, I became painfully aware of the plight of the Native Americans when I spent a period of time in 1974 at Pine Ridge Reservation. That experience was so profound that it just stayed with me through the last 50 years. So the killers, it was vitally important to me to get every detail right so that the audience feels the immensity of the tragedy. Please send help. There's murder in Osage, and the police do nothing. There was a need to tell this story for Martin Scorsese. That's it. There was something intrinsic in him to do this story justice. Shomikasi. That's how you are. I don't know what you said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. <laughs> we worked closely with the Osage community to truly do right by making this film. We shot in the places that the events actually occurred. Whose land is this, Henry? My land. My land. I knew I was going to be working on a film that was very different from what Marty had done before. And I was so thrilled to be editing it. I've worked with Marty for 50 odd years on 22 feature films. This one is a challenge because of its interesting structure. You're sometimes suddenly moved into a different subject or a different character. Who says you are the finest and most beautiful people on God's earth? And I've been fortunate to work with Thelma Schoonmaker more than 45 years. She's a wonderful artist and she edits with her heart. In this movie, the actors' performances are so wonderful. I love the great moment when Jesse says to Leo, I was sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See what about them? And Jesse says, See who's doing it. With a little bit of humor. Jesse has that quiet confidence and a sense of rectitude. It's perfect for the role. Thank you, sir. In the scenes that Marty wanted to leave without subtitles, I was a little concerned about that. But he was quite right. You hear the Osage, and you do know what's going on. De Niro has a way of pushing in the knife and almost humanizing that, and it's interesting. He's one of the few people on this planet that can change the temperature in a room by what they're feeling. So watching this master create and form this character, that was incredibly inspiring. Well, we mix these families together, and that estate money flows the right direction, it'll come to us. Molly, this blanket is a target on our backs. This scene is the core of the film. It shows the journey of the relationship of Molly and Ernest. I need you here. I am right here. As they start to kiss and he moves with her, he then improvised the line. Oh, you know I'm trying to wake the kids up. <laughs> and he says, I love you, and he means it. That's the story of their love. I am to take care of you. When Marty shot the scene of Leo on the stand, we remark in the editing room, Leo is so brilliant in take one. He was so brilliant. Did your uncle present you with a plan by which you would benefit from the death of all these Indian women? Yes. It's staggering performance. As the editor, you couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> we never used temp music in the editing room. Marty begins to put music into the film right away. The only person who should do the music for the film was Robbie Robertson. It's remarkable watching Marty compose a film. Marty obsessed with telling this story with the most honesty that he possibly could. Martin Scorsese and his team are so respectful. He talked to several elders to get the correct version of our traditions and history and culture expressed in his movie. We're so honored to have been entrusted to be part of such an historic moment of representation. We all made it together. There was not a moment where I didn't have the Osage with us. We're like a family. With the cast and the crew, that was deeply committed to telling this powerful historical story in the proper and most authentic way. I'm sorry for all troubles. Mm -hmm.